Okay guys, this is going to be the third part of our video tutorial. In, you know, it, what we did in, basically we added a new page called Country List and Jade. Even though if we go into that page right now, it, it's not going to work. Right, because, uh, because we haven't done setting into our route. The, so basically we have to do some sort of configuration in our route. To do that, what we do is we, um, but the template automatically create a folder called routes. In there, there is a little uh, JavaScript file called index. Well, even before that, if, even before I do this, these are some sample they how they did it. But let's go into our app folder here. These are all the setting. This automatically created for us by that template. You know, basically uh, the 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 way it uh, works in 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 Node.js any library that you need you have to do require in this case we are saying here we need we need this module called if you need a module you do a require so basically call the require method require fun, require method and pass the the library or the module that you need it will automatically download it for you and this is very this module is built in module versus the user defined module for example if you look at this one how they are retrieved the the, the path is a little different it is very important the, this is the convention the, the node.js does because these routes if you can see right here it in here it's referring to this folder routes and this of course this HTTP and path they are part of the of the uh, node.js module and once you have this express object basically we are creating we call this is function method, so constructor function method. We're calling this one. Now all the method and the pro property becomes available to us, and these um these are a bunch of settings. This automatically um, the pro you know template created for us, basically saying all the different kind of setting that we need to have. For example, one I'm gonna you know this is kind of important. Remember, like I was telling you that. By default, this is going to be the file from where it will, will be serving the data. It is saying this this express has a method called static, and then of course this path comes from this library path, and basically this is this directory name is a constant that is currently working directory, and we are saying the currently working directory and all the files would be coming out from this folder. That's what this code is saying. And you know all this configuration. It's not that you will, as you start coding, you'll easily figure it out. For example, this one is saying set the port currently running port as a whatever process has been set. If that is not available, use the 3000 as a default port. And, and the, in this case, this is saying this is a views. The view is found inside this directory called views. That's what this configuration is very very important. And the view engine, like in this case, you know, we are using Jade view engine. That's what this specification is. Okay, I'm not going to go over all of them. Okay, and after that, here, uh, here, here is our route. By default, it comes into uh, this is our home path. For example, this is our uh, home, right? This is our home. So uh, there is a, there is a, it is referring to route dot index. If you go into this index space right here, there is um, this 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 is what the index refers to. It, it is saying when you come into the in my home page, go into the index page. Of course, this index index space is right here into view the index. That's why you are seeing all this HTML markup here. Okay, so. Uh, we don't ha even though we do a country list, it's still going to contact. Let's fix that one. Um, let's follow the convention. Let's grab one of these guy here, so I don't have to type it. I'm gonna name it as a country list. And when we come into the country list. I want to render you a page country list if you want right now I don't really even care about this value I'm going to just pass the empty literal right okay just having this and I should be able to now go into app config 
and define my git method here. Git, oops. So this is the my country list. Of course, we're gonna have we have routes call country list. You see, by doing this, I think we should be able to at least go into our our empty page. Nothing is exciting is there right now, right? Okay, for some reason didn't work. Did not work. Let's see why. Okay. The other thing is like you know this is um, this is very important. You can do uh, to do a debugging in a style. You can do a debug, and you can write console dot. Why this guy is still going into uh, when I, when I'm requesting a country list? Oh, maybe did I even put that country list into my layout page? Ah, I did not. That is why. Let me see. Ah, that's good. See, you can see by the URL it came into the country list. And even other thing you can do, you can look it into here. Here is a contact. Um, see right here, it 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 requested the git. It was a git request for the country list and the server said okay it returned the 200 you know 200 mini successful okay at least we're getting somewhere now at least we have an empty page not that exciting okay let's close it here let's start writing code now okay very first thing I'm going to do, remember like our goal is to connect to my SQL database okay I'm gonna write code I'm going to add a folder called a DAO here, data access object, right? In here, um, let's say this is just for the connection and stuff. And then, in here, I'm going to add new JavaScript file. One, I'm just going to copy this one here. I'll tell you what I'm trying to do here. Uh, my SQL connection. Okay, I'm defining the object literal here. Okay. Um, yeah. Save changes. Okay, I'm defining a you know object literal called my SQL connection. Inside this, it has a property called connection string. Of course, as you can know, you know to connect to my SQL database, I need to know the host. Of course, in this case, the running it, it I'm connecting to my local database. That's why local local host and the root and of course your password you need it. And the database that I'm going to be I'll be using is is a uh, when you install uh, my SQL database, my SQL server, it automatically will have this data. Uh, I don't know which which person, but one of the person I think the latest person has that database available. And once you have that, then you can basically export that. That's how other module can you know use your package or module. Okay, so I'm going to say uh, my SQL connection. I'm going to ex just change this. Because you need the the SQL connection all the time, okay? All right. That is the first thing you have to do. And then, once this file is done, I need to this. Um, let's write down the. Let's go ahead and write down a file called uh, worlds. It's mainly a, there is a country, there is a day a table called country in that database. I want to say country DAO. It's a it's a data access. It will basically pull out the data from my 